Hello guys, it's idiom time. Yes, it's time to study some idioms, right? And this is my channel about English language. We have content about English vocabulary, English grammar, split into four different playlists. Two of them about vocabulary and the other two English grammar. My basic playlists are aimed at beginners. So if it's your first time with the language, I suggest, I highly recommend that you watch my basic grammar playlist and the basic vocabulary because they have explanations in Portuguese, right? <clears throat> and I explore thoroughly uh, the topics, the main topics of English grammar. And regarding vocabulary, I choose one word at a time, right? One word, one expression, one idiom or phrase or verb and then I give a set of five examples so that you can understand how to use that word in context, okay? Before we begin, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and give the thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Last video was our video number 500, yes. We reached the milestone of 500 videos, I have counted. And this is the video number 501. Yeah, that's right. There is a lot of content for you to watch. Don't forget my intermediate advanced playlists are 100% in English, right? They are explained in English. So you choose the path you want to follow. Basic playlists with explanations in Portuguese or intermediate advanced with explanations fully in English. Let's get into today's expression. Today we will <coughs> see the expression drips and drabs, right? I admit that I didn't know this expression. I guess it's more commonly used in British English. And what does it mean? It means a small amount that come or happen over the period of time, right? A drip or a drab, they, uh, both of them, both of the words, they, um, both words mean a small amount of something. And the drabs in special means a small amount of that, right? It's when you, you owe someone some money, right? Or a bank or a person. <clears throat> I'm not exploring the full origin of this expression, but it comes from a, Sc a Scottish expression, right? You can search uh, it through Google and see the meaning of this expression. But I want to explore the meaning and how to use, okay? So it's a small amount of something or somebody. It can also refer to people that come or happen of over a period of time. Let's understand the meaning by this set of examples I have written here. The first example, they received donations in drips and drabs. Okay. Receive is a verb in the simple past, right? A regular verb. They received the donations in drips and drabs. So what's the meaning? It means that for example, they got donations from a variety of people, many people donated, and one donated one dollar, right? It is small amounts. One dollar, uh, 90 cents, you see? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> one quarter of a dollar, doesn't matter. So, it's small amounts. So, little by little, um, the church, for example, received donations or <clears throat> an organization received a donation for a charity, for example, many situations in which you can receive donations. <clears throat> you gather an, an amount of money and then you buy something for a group of people, a community uh, which is vulnerable, uh, which has no food or no money. So they received donations, but in small amounts, right? It's, it, they weren't big donation, uh, donations, right? It didn't involve a large amount of money. 
Of course, you can have a large amount of money if you have a huge number of people, right? A crowd donating, but each one, each person donated a small amount, right? In dribs and drabs, okay? The second example, the guests began arriving in drips and drabs. So, <clears throat> I gave a party. I threw a party yesterday and of course not. I didn't throw a party yesterday because first of all, my ha my home doesn't allow <clears throat> doesn't have enough space to to be to have many people in it. So, it's a a studio, a one-bedroom apartment, so it's impossible to have such a many guests. But let's <clears throat> let's imagine a situation in which I threw a party and the guests began arriving in drips and traps. For example, I invited um, 50 people and the party began at 7 p.m. and then one person came then a group of three people came, then two people, one person, right? Uh, two, two people, you name it. Understand, it's small amounts, it's small groups in drips and traps, right? Two people came, then one person, then three people, then two people, four people. So in small amounts. Right? The guests began arriving, but not all at once. We had small groups, one at a time, until the party really began with the number of invitations, right? Because I invited many people, I expect many people to come. The third example, he repaid the loan in drips and drafts. Okay, what is a loan? Loan. It's when you lend money, it's lent money, right? You lend money from the bank. <clears throat> you can lend money from the bank or from a person. And it happens, right? When you lend money from a bank, it's because you need so desperately or maybe it's an emergency right you don't have savings enough to pay your bills or maybe an emergency situation ha has just happened and then you need to take a loan so it's an amount of money you take from the bank or from a person and then you have to pay it back but when i say he repaid the loan in drips and drafts. It means that he paid the loan little by little in installments. Installments, okay? Yeah, what is, a, an, what is an installment? Uh, I took money and I'm going to pay in 12 installments. Okay, I took... Uh, 12,000 reais or 12,000 dollars, right? I, I lent from the bank. Let's suppose there is no interest rate, interest rate, right? Because if you have interest rate, you pay more, right? In general, it's like this. You take money and then you pay every month a little money. For example, 1,000 reais, so $1,000, and you pay in 12 installments. But due to interest rate, you may have to pay a little uh, more per month. For example, 1,100 uh, 1, reais per month. And in the end, you will pay more than you have lent, right? Because the bank must earn some money as well, right? I, uh, it char uh, the bank charges you an, an amount of money for lending you the money for uh, its, uh, its services uh, the bank provides and so forth. You understand? So I'm paying in drips and traps because I'm not paying 
the whole amount of money I took from the bank at once, right? I'm paying in little installments because it's better for my budget, right? My budget. My budget allows me to pay just small amounts per month. All right? Budget. Budget. Budget is what you, uh, you could say that what you earn per month, it's all your earnings, right? Your net earnings, your net salary, your net income you earn per month from a company or from your services. If you don't work from a comp for a company, you may earn money from somewhere else. It doesn't matter. The budget is the capacity you have to pay, right? It's the how much money you earn, then you compare with the money you have earned, right? You have uh, lent from the bank, and then you have to pay little by little. Okay, the next example. This story may sting. What is a sting? A sting uh, here is in, is not in the, uh, its literal meaning. For example, a mosquito stings, right? I will take uh, the concept of a sting, <coughs> a definition <coughs> for the word sting, so that I can give you. <coughs> Sting is the name of a band, right? <laughs> Sting is a small, sharp-pointed organ at the end of the bees, wasps, ants, and scorpions. But it also... This is a sting, right? Sting is this part of the, the bee that hits you and it hurts, right? <laughs> It hurts. So you say, I got stung by a bee. I will <coughs> write this example here. I got stung by a bee. Or I was stung with a huge tax bill. What's the difference? When you say you got stung by a bee, it means that a, a, a bee <coughs> was uh, over, your, uh, <laughs> over your skin and it, stung, it stings you, right? It stung you. You got stung by a bee. But when you say I, got st I was stung with a huge tax bill, <coughs> it means that it's a bad thing, right? It was a bad surprise. I was stung with a huge bad bill, tax bill. <coughs> now let's understand the meaning here. <coughs> the story may sting. <coughs> Just remember, sting is an irregular verb. Sting, stung, the simple past, okay? <coughs> I believe the past participle is stung as well, but... Sting, stung, let me see. <clears throat> sting, stung, stang. Yeah, it's a regular verb. Or stung, yes. So the story may sting, it may hurt, but if it continues coming out in drips and drabs, the pain worsens. Okay, so I'm listening to a story that may sting. It's bad to listen, I don't want to listen, but if it continues coming out in drips and drabs, if you listen to parts of a story, little by little, small amounts of this story, the pain worsens. What is worsen? Worsen <coughs> means to get worse, okay? It's a verb, okay? Worse is an adjective and worsen is a verb. <clears throat> now let's see the last example. 
<clears throat> Despite their long wait, savers will get their money back in drips and drabs over the next three years rather than up front. So despite their long wait, so it shows <clears throat> an opposite idea because they waited for a longer time so they expected to have their money back but despite their long wait, savers, people from the bank uh, who have savings, right, money saved in the bank will get their money back in drips and drafts in installments, remember? I explained the installments over the next three years rather than up front. Up front, it means that I would receive all my money at once, right? If I have $10,000 in the bank, I would get $10,000 up front. But no, the bank won't pay you up front. The bank will pay you back in drips and drabs. So you will receive your savings in installments that I have just explained here. This is the amount of money I have in the bank, my savings. And then the bank will pay me back in installments, okay? All right, people, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm seeing terrible videos about bees. I hate bees. <laughs> I got stung by a bee once. Look at this. Look at this picture. Oh my God, I can also almost feel the pain. <laughs> you see? It's a bee sting, stinging a person. It hurts so badly. <laughs> All right, people. See you next video. Bye-bye.